So yesterday I played a one round flex start at Hornet's Nest Disc Golf Course. I got absolutely rinsed, shot one of the worst rounds I've shot in a long time. And I think I actually came in dead last, shot well below my rating. I was having a bad day. Let's just put it that way. When I came home, I came home to a nice big package from XCOM Discs. And it's, they sent me some cool stuff. So let's take a look at what they sent and then we'll give everything a throw. Um, shout out to them for sending me everything for today's video. We've got, they're all like astrology themed discs. We've got the TAU Taurus, which is like a very, very close to a P2 style putting putter slash throwing putter coming in at a 2300. Um, they sent us two TAU Tauruses and these are in the earth plastic. We also have one other Taurus that is absolutely insane. This thing looks absolutely sick. It's the Swirly Boy. But you can see it's very, very similar to a P2. Um, this is actually a mold I'm pretty excited about. They did well with this one. I can already tell without even throwing it. This is a pro level putting and throwing putter that I feel like a lot of people would like. We've got about half baseline and half premium. So I guess we'll go over the baseline stuff first. We've got the Aries 9403 Firebird type disc, another pro style feeling disc. And then we've got the Pisces, which is probably the worst feeling of the bunch. It's just like an extra weird feeling T-Bird. Um, the plastic is super grippy and sticky, 7502. And then we, for some reason, have two, count them, two Geminis which is going to be a 5500 mid-range, which I expect to be very like straight point and shoot. Hopefully they're not too flippy to where I absolutely drill this guy over on the right. That is certainly a possibility. He knows the risk of standing there while he sees me doing my Frisbee stuff. Then we've got a nice stack of premium discs and these all seem pretty good. We've got the Virgo here, which is a 4502 approach disc. This one might be the worst feeling of the bunch. This thing actually feels completely terrible. Then we've got a couple of distance drivers here. We've got the Libra 11.5 minus one, two. Kind of has like a destroyer top and then like an AGL cedar bottom. Very, very interesting combination of mold types for the top and bottom. Definitely something quite unusual. Then we've got destroyer clone here. We've got the Draco, which they eventually probably will need to change the name of because Calvin Heimberg already has a disc called the Draco and that name's already been taken. So the PDGA should not approve another disc that's also called the Draco, but it seems pretty cool. Then we've got the Aquarius here, which comes in a 5-5 minus 2-0. Um, this is gonna be the disc that probably obliterates that guy over on the right. Then we've got the Leo 11-5 minus 3-1. Probably another disc that could absolutely eviscerate that guy on the right. So let's give all these a throw. We'll throw all the baseline stuff and the putters, and then we'll throw some of these faster discs. It's hot, it's humid, I'm sweating. I've been outside for three minutes. We're just gonna do our best. Let's start off with the TAU Taurus. Oh, she's straight. Those flight numbers are like spot on. That thing is an absolute laser beam. I love what they did with these swirlier uh, blends. This swirly Taurus is actually sick. Really like the way it looks. That's a really solid pro level throwing putter. Something that I think a lot of people would really enjoy. Now I've got the Aries and the Pisces. We've got the Geminis as well. Let's give the Pisces a quick toss. T-Bird style disc. I'm scared to hit that guy. I think I just aced. Okay, that thing absolutely goes. That thing's got some serious glide. Let's throw the Aries here. Fake Firebird. The Pisces was definitely more stable than the Aries. That Aries flew pretty nice though. Then we've got the Geminis. These are very similar to like a shark mixed with a Mako 3. I'm curious to see how flippy these actually are. They don't feel like they're gonna be super flippy. No, okay. 
That makes sense because sharks aren't all that flippy anyway. I'm gonna trust this one a little bit more flat here. Absolutely dead straight. Very, very similar to like an MD3. Now we got the big guns here. We'll try and go from slow to fast. These are the two worst feeling discs of the bunch, the Virgo and the Aquarius. And I am an Aquarius, but I'm not identifying with the way this disc feels. It feels like a really, really weird star rock, like a domey star rock. I'm expecting it to be pretty stable. <laughs> yeah, it's like a domey rock three. Not necessarily bad, just as a kind of a bizarre feel in hand. Then we got the Virgo 4502. This is supposed to be stable, but we saw from the Aries. Sometimes they're not as stable as what you would expect. Yo! We got the Libra here. We'll give it some hyzer. It's a minus one, too. Oh, she's beefy. That thing is an absolute beefcake. Got the Leo here. 11.5 minus 3.1. Hopefully she flips a little more. Nope. Those are some stable pro level distance drivers. Then we've got the Draco here. Kind of feels like a slightly glidier destroyer. Oh, that Draco is actually insane. That thing is sick. Anyway, guys, shout out to XCOM Discs for sending us out all the discs for today's video. I'll link their website in the description below. Shout out to my sponsors, BergsDiscSports.com. If you haven't checked out the V4 Disc Golf Backpack, what are you waiting for? Go check it out. This is everything you could possibly want in a disc golf bag. I love using it. You can save 20% with my code, ICE20. Go check out Power Grip USA. Iceberg 10, save 10% on your order. I gotta, I gotta get out of uh, the outdoors. I, I'm just absolutely sweating. It's so humid. It's about to storm. Thanks for watching today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.